In this uh, example of projectile motion, we're firing a dart directly at an apple. That's what we're aiming at. At the time the dart fires, the apple is going to start dropping towards the ground. In old textbooks, this might be referred to as a hunter and a monkey problem. But let's talk about a dart being fired at an apple. Uh, we're told that the gun is aimed up 30 degrees from the horizontal. The apple is 5.6 meters off the ground. The dart gun is 1.3 meters off the ground. And the situation that we want to calculate here is what is the launch speed of the dart such that when the apple hits the ground, the dart hits the apple? So we want to know the number here for V naught that the dart and the apple hit at the same time both objects are hitting the ground. So let's first take a look at the X motion, a projectile motion problem ignoring air resistance. The acceleration in the X direction is zero, and we can describe the X position choosing the dart uh, position to be zero initially. We can describe the X position of the dart to be the X component of the velocity multiplied by the time required to get over to the apple. So this is distance equals rate times time. This is the x component of the velocity. Now let's take a look now at the, uh, the triangle in here. 30 degrees. And I want to use the tangent, and I'm just going to call this theta. We'll, we'll use this 30 degree number later. But let's just call it angle theta. So tangent of theta would be equal to the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. This side right here is y naught for the apple minus y naught for the dart. So that's the opposite side. Initial position of the apple minus initial position of the dart. That's the vertical distance of this side of the right triangle, and here's x. We can now solve for x, of course. Just multiply both sides by x, divide both sides by tangent theta, and I'm going to write that out here. So x would be the subtraction of these initial y positions, apple minus dart, divided by tangent theta, and I'm going to change this to uh, sine divided by cosine. And if I do that, the tangent is sine divided by cosine. The sine theta would be here. This would be sine theta divided by cosine theta. When we have a fraction in the denominator, we invert and multiply. So the cosine theta factor comes up here. So I'll be able to use that for x. And I'm going to replace the x here with this expression. So I'll do that down here. This is, again, the subtraction of these initial positions of the apple minus dart times cosine theta divided by sine theta. That's the x equals v naught cosine theta t. The cosines cancel. Divide by cosine theta on both sides. And now I'm going to solve this for uh, t. And you can <coughs> observe that uh, t is going to be y naught a minus y naught d divided by v naught divided by sine theta. Um, I'll write it out here. So subtract the two initial y positions and divide by v naught sine theta. I can use that for the t. Now, typical in projectile motion problems, we now come to the y motion. So our third kinematic equation um, does not rely on the final velocity. So let's uh, write that here. 
just in general. And now let's go ahead and apply it um, and apply it to the apple. Let's apply it to the apple. Now the final position of the apple, we want it to be at the ground, so that'll be a zero. And why not A? And then the apple starts falling with zero for its y velocity. So I put in a zero there. And then one half a sub y t squared. And instead of uh, t, I'm now going to go ahead and make this substitution. So y not a minus y not d divided by v naught sine theta. And that gets to be squared. So there's our, uh, our expression. So this is going to help us eventually find v naught. Well, in analyzing this, we're dealing near the Earth. So I want to go ahead and uh, use the fact that in absence of air resistance, the acceleration due to gravity is minus 9.8, roughly, meters per second squared. And I'm going to substitute that in for the, for the Ay. Dividing by 2, this will become minus 4.9 as a coefficient here in front of this. And I want to go ahead and add uh, 4.9 times this uh, parenthesis squared to both sides. And what I'm doing is I want to move, sorry about that, <laughs> I want to move this term to the left side. So we're using the fact that Ay is minus 9.8 and putting that in and dividing by 2, adding to both sides, we get 4.9. Initial position subtracted. Equals y not a. Now square the uh, uh, the parentheses. At least some of it. So when I do that, I'll get 4.9. I'm going to leave y not a minus y not d as a quantity and have that squared. And v not squared sine squared theta equals y not a. I now want to solve for v not. So I'm going to multiply both sides by v not squared. I'm going to divide both sides by y not a. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, write that here. I think I have enough space to show you. 4.9, again, the subtraction. That's v naught squared. Now, that's far enough just as a general expression. Let's see what happens when we use the conditions given in this problem. We have 4.9. The apple was at 5.6 meters. The dart gun started at 1.3 meters. And again, the apple is 5.6. And we're at 30 degrees. And that's v naught squared. You should do this calculation on your own. 5.6, well, sorry, this is squared here. 5.6 minus 1.3, that quantity gets squared. Then multiply by 4.9, then divide by 5.6, and then divide by the square of sine of 30. Sine of 30 is 0.5, so sine squared of 30 will be 0.25. Run that through your calculator. That gives you a value for v naught squared of 64.72. Take the square root of both sides, and we find v naught is 8.04 meters per second. 8.04 meters per second. That is the speed of a dart gun for this problem with the apple and dart at their various heights, 30 degree angle to uh, aim the dart gun. This, at this speed, the apple and the dart gun hit 
at the instant they both hit the ground. And this is the third video in a sequence of videos on uh, Dark Gun and Apple. If you would uh, find my first video on this, uh, the velocity there was 16 meters per second, and the Dark Gun hit the Apple not too far down after the Apple had started falling. But uh, there we are with uh, sort of general expression along the way, and then putting in the uh, numbers given to us for the locations of the apple and the angle, we get that conclusion. So ask your instructor if you have questions on this.